guys, thanks for joining me today. I am so excited to show you guys my huge haul. I was in Minneapolis two weeks ago and I bought a lot of stuff there and I wanted to show it to you guys. So I bought a lot of clothes and like fashion stuff and I also got like makeup related things. So it's going to be a quick like video in which I'm going to show you guys both things. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the makeup beauty related stuff that my channel is about. So um, Mall of America was crazy. I wanted to like live there. They have an amusement park in there and it was crazy. I don't even know if I would be able to go to that mall and not spend tons of money. It's impossible. I went there like three different times during my entire trip. So I wanted to start off with some Sigma Beauty stuff because that I feel like is the big store there that's new and it doesn't exist anywhere else. So that's the cool part about that. So I got a few brushes from there that I didn't own before. Um, I obviously have known about Sigma. I have a lot of their products and I love them and um, their brushes are, you know, my favorite thing about them. So I went back and got a few more that I didn't have before. So I got this one. This is a large concealer F65. Um, this I actually got for my makeup kit because I use brushes like this a lot for people's under eye um, concealer. And this works really well with cream makeup and I use a lot of Graftobian. So I got that for my kit. Then I got this one right here, the Precision Flat Angled P88 which I love. My friend recommended this one to me. I saw that this one came out like after I bought the original four pack of these synthetic brushes, so I didn't get it with that, but this is really cool for under eye concealer as well. And then I also got this one, which I'm also loving. This is the F88 for the face, and I actually use that to put on my foundation today. I've been using that a lot, and I love this brush. This one's like, it's amazing. It gets like all of the small areas that you really needed to get into like the sides of your nose, your eyes, stuff like that, and I really, really like this one. And then I got their Precision Eyes Kit. I feel like that's probably their most unique item that I haven't like seen these brushes elsewhere, or not at least this whole line. So it came with these eight brushes, and I'm gonna go through all of them. This is a shader for your crease. Um, I'll show you guys. This is really small, so it's like a small version of like, I guess, a MAC 224. It's probably the most similar that I have to a 224. But you can see like a huge difference in size. And this is really great for like really precise um, applications. This is great for people who really want like really intricate types of uh, makeup. So this whole kit would be awesome for you. So that's the first one. That's one of my favorite brushes. I really like that one. This is the Blending E36. I feel like it's really similar to the MAC 217. However, it's interesting because this bottom part is small. The It kind of fluffs out in the top. So I feel like this picks up less product than this one. Um, but it, it's kind of like a similar brush. I would kind of use it for the same thing. So as you can see, like the, the top has been dyed black because I used black eyeshadow. And I just use that for like um, this little side corner right here. Not for today, but I use it a different day. This one is a smudge brush, so this is good to like smudge out eyeliner and stuff like that. And then this is a waterline liner, which I think is really cool. I have not lined my waterline with this, but I'm assuming you'd use this with like a gel eyeliner. This is the shader for your inner corner, so like a tear duct type thing. However, I still kind of prefer to use brushes like this. Oopsie. I still like to use brushes like this for that, um, as opposed to some of these. I've tried to use this and I don't think it picked up product the same way as a brush like this does, so I don't know how I feel about that one. And then I, for some reason, have another one of the shader, the E47, I, I don't know, I guess it came with two. And then this brush right here, which is the eyeliner, this I love. I love brushes like this to use for gel eyeliner. I'm not, I don't really use too, too many gel eyeliners, but when I do, this would be the perfect thing. I also really like that the actual brush part is so, so thin, and it's really, really short. So that's going to give you a lot of um, control over what you're doing. Usually when this actual like brush part is so much longer, um, you tend to not get as much control, and then the brush isn't as sturdy itself. So I like that one a lot. It's kind of unique. I haven't seen one like that for a while. And then you've got a tight line liner. So those two, I think the waterline and the, the tight line liner are really cool because I've never seen anything like that before. Um, of course, you can use brushes for whatever you want to use it for, but I used this one today to just smudge out my black eyeliner and make it like more of a smudgy sort of look um, that I drew on with the pencil. 
So those are the brushes that I got from Sigma and then I got this little Sigma Spa Glove that I'm sure you guys have heard a ton about. Um, I've used it a couple times. I'm going to wait to do a review on this. I'm still testing it out with certain things and I'll do a full review on that one. And then I got, they, these are also relatively new. These are their eyeshadow bases. And I used to use, originally when I first like really started to get into makeup, I started to use uh, MAC Paint Pots a lot as my bases. And they were good, but I didn't end up sticking to it. I felt like I found better use of it in other ways. And I also found my Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I swear by. But I had heard a lot about these, and I wanted to try these out. So I got, this one is in the color Provoke. This is probably most similar to my skin color than the other ones were, so I really like this one. I haven't used it too much yet either, just um, a tiny bit, so I will come back and probably do a review of all of these Sigma products. And then I also got the one Spy. I really like this one. It reminds me a lot of an eyeshadow that I used to have by Too Faced, which broke and I never ended up going back and getting it, but I love that it's like that duochrome greenish brown it kind of depends on like where what angle you look at it from to give you that look so this one is also great I think it would be awesome to like put black over it and stuff like that but I have used this just as eyeshadow just by itself and it looked beautiful this is one of those great like quick on the go type things because it has that duochrome so it automatically makes your eye look more interesting than just having like one eyeshadow color so it's easy so that is it for my Sigma stuff and then I went to MAC and I got, this is something that I've been looking forward to for a while. This is a mascara, I can't find the name of it. I think it's called like an Extreme Dimension or something like that. It came out a little while ago, but I didn't want to buy it because I was waiting for my Makeup Forever Smoky Lash to run out and now it's actually getting to that like dry stage. So I got this because I really needed a mascara while I was there. And I am obsessed with this. This is amazing. Like it literally has elongated my eyelashes by so much. My eyelashes are not long at all because they keep falling out. So I feel like the long ones keep falling out, the short ones stay. And this does such a great job of elongating them that it's just fantastic. This and the Makeup Forever paired together are like like amazing. But um, my Makeup Forever is run out, so I'm only using this by itself. And even then, I think it's great. It doesn't um, thicken like that one does, which is why I like to use that one. But those two together would just be awesome. And then, I, for some odd reason, have never owned a... I don't own too many colored, like, pencil eyeliners for some reason. And I, I do, like, looks like that with eyeshadows as opposed to pencil eyeliner. So, I wanted to get a few colored ones. And so, I got this one from the Archie's Girl collection. It's called Designer Purple. And I really like that. I was so excited about this collection because of the fact that I have grown up reading Archie comics and... I love them, and I was just super, super excited. I didn't find anything else that I loved, but I really liked that one. They had Petrol Blue as well, which they have in their original line that I am obsessed with. So if you guys have not tried that one out, it is my favorite eyeliner by Leaps and Bounds, and it's just incredible. You guys would love it. And then I never, I realized that I've never owned a brown eyeliner. Well, I own them. They're my makeup kit, but I've never had one for myself. And so I got this one. It's called Lord It Up. It's a really pretty brown. I haven't used this one yet, as you guys can tell, but I loved it when I swatched it there. So I got that for MAC. And then my friend who I went to visit has a couple of brow kits from Sigma, and it has brow stencils. And she does her eyebrows the most incredible way, and I loved it. And then I realized that, you know, I do my brows okay, but I wish they were thicker. And they used to be thicker until I started to get them done, and now they're, like, perpetually thinner. And I really wish I had thicker lashes or thicker brows. So I actually went to Sephora and got this little brow kit by Anastasia. I'm sure you guys have heard about her. They make incredible brow products. Their entire line is based around eyebrows, which is crazy. But um, people will swear by her stuff. And I've heard about her for the longest time, but I've never used any of her products. So I just got this little brow stencil kit. It comes with these five stencils, and they're all about the arch. Like, that's the main part of this whole thing. So you've got, like, a medium arch, a petite arch, slim high arch, high arch, and full arch. And you basically, like, put this against your brow, and you kind of, like, draw in the remainder. And I've used this so many times. I haven't used this today, but when I do use it, I think my brows look exponentially better. And I just love the look that it gives me. It definitely makes it look very perfect, so you can tell that you've done something to it. 
Um, so as long as you use a color that, you know, makes your eyebrows look pretty normal, you should be fine. But it's crazy what a difference this makes. I, I've always been pretty obsessed with eyebrows, but when I started to use this, I was like, holy crap, my eyebrows have like, become like this new like part of my face and a new part of my routine that I didn't like really do much for before. Okay, like yeah, I do like pencil them in or whatever, but not like anything crazy. And even with this, it's not anything crazy, but the way they look after I've done this is just, it's just incredible. And it doesn't look too crazy. And I don't know, it, it helped me make my eyebrows so much thicker looking and bigger and while making it to look natural. So I'm obsessed with this, as you guys can tell, and I will probably do a, a tutorial to show you guys how to use them, but I love them. So that is it for like the makeup beauty part of it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the fashion part of it, which is also pretty fun. So I know you guys can't see my face, but this is the best way that I could figure out how to show you my stuff. Um, so you can actually see the stuff and not worry about me too much. So I have been eyeing Sperry's for the longest time. I have a lot of foot problems. Um, my big toe is like really big and so wearing closed toed shoes can end up being a really big hassle for me because so I wanted to get something that's really comfortable. So I got these right here. I thought they were so freaking cute. Like they're really interesting because I like the look of Sperry's. They're very like preppy, that kind of thing. But I loved just how cute these were. They've got like so much detail to it. Like they've got like a lighter blue here, a white, a creamish white here. This like brighter blue and they've got their normal like stuff in the side and what's really cool about this I like the mesh part right here which is really unique I thought and I'm just in shock about how comfortable they are I heard a lot about them being comfortable but I didn't know until I've actually started to wear them so I'm, I'm obsessed and then I got these wedges these are from Nordstrom they are by Sam Edelman I'm sure you guys have heard about him he makes amazing shoes and I love the sort of like tribal feel to them, the zebra print, and it actually has a texture to it. It is, ooh, it is that like zebra or like fur texture, I guess. And they're, these are really comfortable. And the most interesting part about this is that they're weightless. Like this does not feel like it's any weight. So automatically it made it a good shoe to travel with because it's not going to affect your bag weight too much. And I'm going to LA in the next couple weeks, and so. I thought this would be a great thing to have for there where I can actually look cute and um, like take you know shoes like this without worrying about my bags being overweight because that tends to happen to me everywhere I go. So those are the shoes and then I got some really really cool like fun clothes I really like a lot. So this I'm sure you guys can tell has been worn but this is just like a peasant sort of top. This is from Abercrombie and Fitch and I really like how simple this is, but I really mostly got this because the back was so cute. I love how designers are doing a lot with the back now as opposed to the front, and I think that's really unique because you have to work a little bit harder to kind of see it. So I think it's a little bit sexier in certain ways. I really like this a lot. Very, very simple, like everyday type of wear. And then I got this shirt. This is from a little boutique that's opened up called Lola. It's actually a spin-off of BCBG. It's a cheaper version of that brand. And that automatically made me love it because I've always really liked BCBG, but I, I do think that some of their stuff is really, really expensive and not really worth it. So this is a much more affordable version. Like for example, this was like, I want to say $32 or something. I thought it was really cute. It's got, it's short and then you're supposed to like tie this at your um, like hips or waist or whatever. and. It's got these little long sleeves and the detail over here is so cute. It's sequins, but it's not like shimmery, like shiny sequins, it's matte. So I really like that. I thought that was different and unique. And then I've been wanting a pair of leather shorts for the longest time and I finally found them here. These fit so well. There's like a little pair of leather shorts. This is like a fun little detail here. It makes it fit really well. I think that if it wasn't for this, these would kind of fit just like straight like a board on me as opposed to actually like curving around me. So I really like this. These are only $17, which is crazy, but I love these. And I was actually going to wear this, this, and those wedges together in LA and kind of like mix prints, but you can also go a different route, I guess, and wear like red pumps or like blue pumps or like a different color to make it a little bit more fun. Then also for me enough, I got this white top and I loved it only because of the detail at the neck. It's got these pearls and little rhinestones and I really think that makes it unique. I think it's a fun top and it's easy to make this look more professional um, but you can also make it casual by tying it just like how it is right now. 
And obviously like these really thin um, chiffon type tops are really in right now. And I think that you can dress them up really easily. Then I got another like really casual sort of top from there that I liked a lot. It's this right here and this inside part that you can like kind of pull it apart and it does have a layer under it. But it just sits really well and it looks really cute and feminine and I think this is like so easy to wear with a pair of shorts that you might have or a pair of white shorts would be really cute with it I thought. And then another top that I also got from A&F and the, the red one's also from there. I got this. And this you're going to have to wear like something under it. It's definitely like very see-through, as is the white one, obviously. But um, this is really cute. It's got like a sort of like animal, like a leopard print or something across it, which is gold. But the back is what I really liked again. It's got this like sort of low-cut back, and then it's got this that opens up. So when you wear it, like the bottom, like one or two inches kind of shows. I thought that was really cute. So another way to wear this, I guess, would be like to wear like a bralette or something underneath it that's kind of longer if you do want it to be like more going out. And then my item of honor that I'm so excited to show you guys. This is totally like not me at all and I didn't even think I was going to try it on. But I noticed it and I just like showed my friend what it was. She's like, oh, you have to try it on this. This looks so good on you. So this is what I got from Nordstrom. I thought it was so unique. It is a little dress. It actually is a little bit shorter than you think it is. I'm pretty short myself, but it's not like, like it would be too, like here, on me. And it's so cute. This was so unique. It's got this like leather paneling on the side and it actually comes down a little bit lower than the front of the dress, which is so different. It's got these cutouts and at first I was like, that just looks really like not me but these cutouts end up becoming really smaller like once you actually have your body in it because it ends up only being like an inch or two that you can actually see and the back is a racer back so you have to wear like a racer back bra and then if you look carefully this has got another like leather panel going down the side of it and it's like a lime greenish yellow type thing and the rest of it's tweed so i thought it was so different it looks like something that i would expect your designer to make like on project runway or something so i loved those items so that was it for my haul from Minneapolis. It was a lot of like, I didn't really get that much. I don't think it was more for the clothing stuff. I wanted to get things that were really unique. And I've been waiting for spring forever. It's been so cold here. So I wanted to get things that represented that and things that I don't think I would see here in Atlanta. So those are the types of things that I got. And I just loved Lola. I've never seen that anywhere else. So if you guys know of a location maybe in Atlanta or something, let me know. I can't seem to find it anywhere online. Um... So yeah, that was it for my haul. If you guys have any questions about the products that I bought, definitely post down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Thanks, bye!